it can be hard to be alone and not have a social outlet so the City of Westminster has found a way to keep seniors in the community connected during COVID, and it can be as simple as a phone call. Hi Dolores, it's Block over at the Senior Center. I'm good, how are you? That's good. I just wanted to call because I have your delivery ready for tomorrow and I needed to see if you wanted any of those extras that I usually pack. So Betty, you know how we were talking about when you get the phone calls and how special that makes you feel? Yes. Wouldn't it be nice to actually meet that person? Yes. Well, we actually have that person here for you today. And she's right there. She's actually coming right there around oh, the corner for you. Oh, yes. And I, oh, I'm so happy to be with you. Hi, Let's Betty. See. I'm oh, here my. for you. Oh my God, I love flowers. Aww. Blanca Luna with the City of Westminster has been calling Betty Flatty and especially has been in touch with one of her daughters, Joanne, who lives out of state. Of top concern, her nutrition. It's uh, unbelievable, it's fantastically satisfying, more than satisfied. I get plenty of food and it's always delicious. Uh, everybody's just it's just wonderful. You know, they deliver it and not have to go to the store. And, and I did it all myself for years and years. So to get this service, I think, oh, they're going to bring food again. Betty has been active and social her entire life. She shares with us some of her amazing accomplishments of her youth. I went to the Olympic trials as a contestant uh, in 1952. The, the tryouts were held in Penn State. Um, I went with another girl. And gymnastics were very, very unusual for girls anyway. And after the Olympic trials, Betty headed to make a life in the state capitol. I went to Washington, D.C. and worked, lived and worked there for three years for the federal government, the Treasury Department. And just about the time that I am tired of the Treasury Department and I want to go overseas and work for the uh, State Department for the Geneva Conference, my mother got ill. So Betty left Washington to go back to Pennsylvania, where she met her soon-to-be husband. While I was there, I met this friend of mine, and uh, I was home for like three months, and I went back to Washington, and uh, he kept calling me, and so did my mom, and uh, telling me I should come home while I went home for Christmas. He bought me a ring, and then we were married the following year. Oh, there's one right here. Betty, a mother of five, is fortunate to have two of her children local. Twins Ted Flatty and Terry Earlywine visit often and appreciate the city looking after their mom. We try to watch over her and take care of her. However, we all have our own individual lives and children and grandchildren, and so we've got our own days that are very, very full. So it is especially nice and uh, heartwarming that she's getting communication from the city that she's been a participant in for 55 years. She's been here and, and working with the city of Westminster. And so it's very nice that the city is involving themselves in the seniors. And for her to be socially distant is a little bit of a, a hard thing for my mom because she is very hospitable, loves to have people over. So we've, we've definitely had to step back a little bit, but the special touch of a phone call or a knock at the door or a card through the mail is amazing. I just wanted you to know that we're always thinking of you and we're here for you and if you need anything, call us. Blanca has Betty and about 60 other seniors she contacts weekly. Getting to know each of them personally, she also packs their food boxes and makes sure to have their favorites included. To hear somebody say, I'm so grateful for you, I'm so grateful for the help that you've given me, it, it's important for me to remind them that they deserve this. This isn't something that we're going out of our way for. This is what they deserve, being members of our community and paying their dues and living here. It's now our time to take care of them. Since the start of COVID, the city has made more than 4,500 calls to reach out to seniors and address their needs. Community Services Director Diana Daubert explains how real relationships have evolved just like Betty and Blanca's and more people now want to meet face to face. We're planning a, a, a donut coffee hour out in the parking lot inside of our uh, seniors are going to be staying in their cars so at that point in time they can come and interact with staff socially distance and being safe by staying in their cars. Literally we started making stuff up every single day how we can make things better what could we do and how could we make lives for our seniors a little bit better in Westminster. For more information on the Telecare Friendly Call Program, call the Senior Center at 714-895-2878.
for Slices, I'm Jacqueline Twegg.